What is up guys and welcome back to another Raid Challenges video with me, The Real Deal. So we're going to be taking on Stage 15, Magic Affinity, Iron Twins. Let's just get straight into it and I'll show you my cheesy team comp. Okay, so this is my cheesy team comp. Um, it's a 100% success rate and times can vary between 2 minutes to 4 minutes. Um, so we've got triple revivers um, and we've got two God Seekers, Anari. Um, we've got um, Rector Draft. Got Geomancer and we got Mithrala. So of course everyone knows that um, Geoman Geomancer is an absolute boss when it comes to um, the Iron Twins. Um, he is just like absolutely essential. Like the damage he does is just like unmatched. Um, you know, I'm not like it's really weird. Like I'm not a massive fan of Geomancer, um, even though he's a great champion. But, like I think it's because I just love Arena so much, and he's just no good for Arena. But like Hydra. Um, clan boss iron twins there's so much pve that he is amazing in so uh you know don't listen to me he is a great champion so i i, I don't know he is he is he is highly rated and he rightfully so he is just an absolute boss so ret's draft she's great here perfect veils reducing aoe damage we're receiving um she's doing loads of healing with her perfect veil and she obviously and she's a reviver uh, mine's got really low accuracy though, so she's not going to be landing that decrease attack. So that that's fine though; it doesn't really matter. And um, the God Seekers, they're extending buffs, uh, so that means that the Perfect Veil is going to stay up. They're also doing loads of healing as well. So great, great, great! And basically, whenever someone dies, you know, one of the God Seekers passive will pop off and bring someone back to life. And they sort of got like a double revive because they have their passive that revives. And then when someone's dead, they can also revive and reduce cooldowns as well, which is really useful. And we've got that times two because we've got two of them. Uh, Mithrala, um, great champion, really accessible. Well, I say really accessible. If you're doing Hydra, um, then yeah, she is accessible to you and get her from fragments. And the other thing is though, I don't feel that you can really do stage 15 unless you're like really end game. So you probably are doing Hydra um, to be able to do this. Um, and of course that accuracy lead is so useful definitely need it for geomancer to learn that h land that hp burn um, and she's also um, reducing damage with strengthen she also provides a shield as well um, so yeah just loads of great champions all around and she's cleansing that decreased defense and decreased attack as well so great great champions all around really helping carry this team and um, the other thing i want to say is that um so this, this team can go like really smooth, but this run is actually a great example of when things are going tits up. Um, so there's loads of um, like loads of people dying and there's like, it does look really sketchy, but because we've got that triple revive, someone's always getting revived. And you know, if one God Seeker die, well, if two of the revivers dead, one of them's gonna get revived and then they're gonna bring some back to someone else and it just keeps popping off and everyone's staying alive and healthy. So that's great. Um, one thing I do wish is that um, one thing that's great about Mithrala is when she throws out Hex and the Hex means that we're going to do more damage as well but um, that move, that debuff that she has that CC, um, Parrots on Vacation no, no, not Parrots on Vacation Petrification when um, she does her Petrification as well I mean, I love that in Arena and I just wish we could do it to Iron Twins as well because this boss is so frustrating Like the damage he does is just insane um, there's loads of other different team comps you can use out there as well and there's one that I really want to try. Shout out to my clan leader, Kodo. Um, he basically made up a team comp that was pretty awful. Um, but, you know, he had like them all in bad gear. But it does work. Um, but I just can't match the speed tuning that he's got. But um, hopefully I'll do a video, you know, further down the line, I'll do a video on that and share that for everyone. Very, very accessible team. So shout out to Kodo. One absolute legend. Okay, so let's pause the video. So, of course, Geomancer, I think everyone knows that he's like doing, he's doing all the work, he's doing all the damage, but 3.6 million from Geomancer, what an absolute beast. Um, Godseekers doing decent amount of healing, a bit of damage as well. Um, Rector Draft, absolutely shining, doing triple, oh no, or triple one of them, double the other, but 939k of healing from Rector Draft. And then Mithrala just doing a bit of damage, uh, bit of, yeah, a bit of damage here and there. So let's have a look at the build. Okay, so let's start with the Godseekers. So I've got three. I actually did try triple Godseeker 
and unfortunately I couldn't get that cheesy cheesiness to work and um, but I did try but uh, just yeah well actually yeah let's let's do let's focus on this so first off this god seeker um she's actually built for bommel so that's why she's got an insane amount of hp um if i was specifically building her for um the iron twins i would definitely reduce the hp and have a bit more um hate uh, the defense i feel that 4k is a decent amount of defense a lot more speed as well you'd want like sort of 220 250 and then none of the other stats really matter. It's just that HP, that defense, and that speed. Of course, if you can get crit rate and crit uh, and def uh, sorry crit damage in there, of course that's great as well. Um, and then masteries, just very very standard offense and defense. Um, Godseeker number two is not the one that we use, so not using this one. Um, but number three is in a stalwart set and stalwart is great for this boss and really reduces the aoe damage that he does to us when um sort of in his passive it procs every now and then so basically when you do at certain points his hp gets somewhere along the line um he'll basically turn around and remove all debuffs on himself and just start slamming your team so stalwart really helps um keep you alive um, so I did actually have to increase uh, my god seekers um defense for this so it was at 2.7k so bringing it up to 3.3k actually really did help with the survivability on Godseeker. Uh, 47k HP, um, reasonably fast at 206, and then a good amount of crit rate, and then the other stats don't matter. I did um, try a high resistance Godseeker, but the amount of um, resistance you need is just insane. Uh, this one's got a slightly different build. So um, this one's got more healing and then more damage. Um, to be fair, they actually did the same sort of damage. So... And maybe this one you could actually just have as like full, um, like I'd go support tree so you get the healing, but then also you can get healing and survivability from the defensive tree. Um, so that's the God Seekers. Let's have a look at Rector Draft. Where are you, my friend? So Rector Draft is in a mishmash build. And um, basically I was just trying to get as much resistance as I could on her. Um, so we've got Immortal, we've got Resilience, and we got Speed. So, um, total stats, uh, 50k, 58k HP, very low defense actually, I should probably bump that up, um, so 2.5k defense is very low, should be around 3.3 actually, speed nice and fast, and then 545 resistance, even with that resistance we're still not getting resists, um, I could definitely glyph um, her up a little bit, but also uh, masteries, maybe I could swap this up. Um, you know, change the support, well, keep the support and change it up for um, defense instead of that offense. I think that'd actually help a lot. Um, give that survivability. Oh, what am I doing? I am all over the show today. Um, so let's have a quick look at Mithrala. So I think everyone builds Mithrala pretty much the same way, especially if you want to do PvE and PvP. Um, triple perception is the only way to go. Um, so we got 60k HP, 3.4k defense, uh, 229 speed, so nice and fast, and then 619 uh, accuracy. So of course, because of her passive, she is going to be stacking resistance. That's around 800 um, resistance, and I've not even glyphed her out fully yet. So I could even push that accuracy and that resistance up even more. Um, masteries, this is pretty much the only way to go. Um, basically by doing this you are just getting loads of accuracy and then loads of resistance as well so best way to build her and last but not least the little angry gnome where are you geomancer an absolute boss um i need to stop saying that all i'm saying he's a boss he's a boss well he is a boss but yeah typical um like pve boss destroying masteries um and then we've got him in triple um perception and total stats we've got 47k hp um 1.7 defense because it doesn't really matter on him um you know there's no point in really building that defensive um and he's just gonna be dying loads anyway so we'll just keep getting revived um nice reasonably fast at 215 62 uh, crit rate so a decent amount and then 552 accuracy so that is the team uh, one thing i do want to say is that i do feel that with blessings and awakening champions further down the line, those blessings are really going to play a part. Um, Smite on Geomancer, 
That's really going to help his damage on uh, the Iron Twin. So it's, it is going to get easier. And then there will be sort of when we figure out what are the best defensive and give, sort of give you best defense and survivability. Those masteries will be coming out. Uh, those masteries, those blessings will be coming out on like the supportive sub revivers and stuff. So they'll have like better survivability. And then, you know, Iron Twins, it will become easier, but it's just going to take such a long time. Um, I don't know, looking at how blessings are, it looks like, you know, it could take easily sort of like as, as free to play, not spending. If your RNG is really bad and you're buying from the shop, it's going to take months. Um, but at least to get them sort of level three could take about probably three months per champion. It is like the system they've put in place is pretty awful, to be honest. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helps you guys out there. Um, if you've got any interest in team comps, please drop a comment below. You know, let us know what champion you used, what gear sets, um, even the bit of your stats as well, the important ones. Um, yeah, and just share your knowledge. Thank you so much. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, 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 subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.